Hey, smash the thumbs up button if you're a fan of Disney movies. Join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on. But also, don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the upcoming sequel to Disney's 2012 hit Wreck-It Ralph, which was both critical and commercial success, the title character Ralph and the racing princess Vanellope will be exploring the cyberspace in search of a part they need to fix and save Vanellope's game Sugar Rush from early retirement. Since Disney spared no expense acquiring numerous big brands over the years, they were more than willing to flaunt them and, as you could expect, the trailer for Wreck-It Ralph 2 is chock full of easter eggs. From classic video games and Disney princesses to Star Wars and Marvel, stay tuned as we go through 10 easter eggs you missed in Wreck-It Ralph 2 trailer. Right at the beginning of the trailer, we are treated with the view of the arcade. Now, since the original Wreck-It Ralph featured so many references to well-known video games, it only makes sense that the trend continues in the sequel. In the background of the arcade, we see the headlining games from the original movie, Sugar Rush and Hero's Duty. Still, several classic games can be seen as well, Dance Dance Revolution first released back in 1998, Pac-Man, which is regarded as one of the most influential video games of all time, Street Fighter 2, everyone's favorite Frogger, called Classic Dragon's Lair, as well as the most popular arcade video game Space Invaders. The arcade wouldn't be complete without Fix-It Felix Jr., the 8-bit video game from the first movie that was created as an homage to the classic arcade era of gaming, so we finally get a shot of the game before Ralph scares Vanellope to take her to the internet. Just as Ralph and Vanellope get into super colorful and buzzing world of internet through the internet modem, we see that the guys from Disney imagined the world of internet as a huge hub of sorts that strongly resembles futuristic version of any real life metropolis. Right off the bat we see the way where Disney is heading with popular IPs and the first thing we see in the internet world is Amazon, the online whopping superstore with numerous drones flying in and out of the building. The internet world is, such like ours, divided into specific districts for each category, like the social media district we see in the trailer. From Facebook to Snapchat headquarters surrounded by thousands of other apps, there's no mistaking each and every one of them, like Lad Bible, YouTube, Carvana and even MySpace. While we see those apps as buildings only, Twitter on the other hand has a rather unique personification with birds chirping about Grumpy Cat on the Twitter tree and when one bird tweets about Grumpy Cat, the other birds retweet the message over and over again. In the next shot, we are introduced to a character known as Nosemore, aka the entity behind the search bar, located right next to Adobe Photoshop stand. Nosemore has a rather annoying autofill habit that takes the wheel whenever he speaks to someone, giving them suggestions for completing their words and sentences. This annoys Ralph to no end and he constantly tries to guess what Ralph is saying before Ralph can even begin his sentence. When Vanellope jumps in and asks Nosemore for a website that is super intense and really nuts, he directs them to the only place he can think of, ohmydisney.com. Also, if Nosemore voice sounded familiar to you, that's because he's voiced by a regular on Disney's voice acting roster, Alan Tudyk, the same guy who voiced King Candy slash Turbo in the original movie. Thanks to Nosemore, Ralph and Vanellope continue their journey and eventually find a way to ohmydisney.com. Funnily enough, the address is actually a real-life website for die-hard Disney fans and covers just about anything Disney related. Obviously, Disney took this opportunity to crack a joke at the expense of their own theme park locations as everything in the internet world is made to mirror the exterior of Disneyland and Disney World. There are thousands of people going in and out of the gates surrounded by numerous hotels that reference real life locations. For example, the Rise and Shine Inn we see in the trailer alludes to Days Inn, while La Casita refers to La Quinta Hotel located near Disneyland Resort and the Anaheim Convention Center. The centerpiece of the shot in the trailer is another Disney icon, a large castle that resembles the Sleeping Beauty castle that became the basis of Walt Disney Pictures logo. When Ralph and Vanellope enter the Disney World, much to Vanellope's surprise, she sees all the Disney princesses gathered on stage at what seems to be a presentation in the style of Comic Con and D23 Expo. We see Belle from The Beauty and the Beast, Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, Sleeping Beauty, Braves Merida, Mulan, Elsa and Anna from Frozen, Rapunzel from Tangled, Ariel from The Little Mermaid, Moana, Pocahontas, Aladdin's Jasmine, and finally Snow White. 
The appearance of Disney princesses was revealed last year, during the 2017 D23 Expo, when the filmmakers said that all of the living voice actresses would come back to voice their characters once again, including Belle's Paige O'Hara, Mulan's Migna Wen, and Ariel's Jodie Benson. Phil Johnston, one of the directors and the man who helped make Wreck-It Ralph and Zootopia, explained how it all came to be. We did the scene first with temp voices, and so we knew what the scene was all about when we went to them, and we sent them the sides so everyone kinda knew what the scene was like. And we thought, well, I hope everyone's game to do something that's part irreverent, but respectful of their characters at the same time. And every single actress that we went to loved the idea. Vanellope was obviously not impressed with all the princesses, and even complained saying princesses and cartoon characters barf, not realizing that Eeyore from the Winnie Pooh cartoons was right next to her. When he replies in his typical tired manner, something flies by, and if you pause the trailer, you will see that it was the Iron Man making a brief appearance. Which doesn't come as a surprise because we all know that nowadays, Disney owns pretty much everything out there. Following Iron Man, the camera pulls to another side of Oh My Disney and we get to see Disney's vast collection of brands. It looks like there are different convention areas featuring brands like the Muppets, Star Wars, Disney Animation, Marvel and Pixar. Needless to say, the shot is jam-packed with easter eggs as it features a TIE Fighter, the Millennium Falcon, X-Wing, Death Star and the statue of R2-D2 from Star Wars Universe. Near the Marvel area, we can see Iron Man Repulsor Gauntlet, Thor's Hammer Mjolnir, and Captain America's Shield, while Pixar's area has Arlo from The Good Dinosaur and Nee from WALL-E, along with Lilo and her sister, Woody and Buzz from Toy Story, as well as Big Ben and Captain Hook's ship from Peter Pan. A round Disney animation logo resembling Sorcerer Mickey's hat are Dumbo, Sorcerer Mickey, and classic movie posters for classics like The Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella. As if that wasn't enough, the house from up with balloons attached found its way above the Muppet Show area. Someone eventually realizes that Vanellope stands out from the rest of the crowd, and stormtroopers from Star Wars, who appear to be working as security at Oh My Disney, bust in and begin to chase Vanellope. While we don't see a whole lot of them in the trailer, the design of their armor and helmets seems to be more inspired by The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi rather than the previous centuries in the Star Wars franchise. This shot, however, although brief, features two more easter eggs. One of them is the giant image of Beaker from the Muppets on the left side, and the other one is the statue of Darth Vader far behind the stormtroopers. Running away from pursuing stormtroopers, Vanellope eventually enters the dressing room of Disney princesses. Soon enough, she learns that the princesses, who were usually portrayed as damsels in distress in their movies, are now a far cry from their old selves because of all the things they've been through. The princesses gang up on the intruder and threaten Vanellope with their iconic items and possessions. Jasmine holds the genie's lamp as if it's a gun she's about to fire, Cinderella breaks her glass slipper, turning it into a shank, and points it to Vanellope ready to stab and slash, and Pocahontas holds her staff at the ready, while her hair constantly moves in the colors of the wind throughout the scene. As they circle Vanellope, we see that Moana holds her oar, and Merida has drawn her bow. Belle is one of the few that isn't ready to jump at Vanellope, as she's holding her book tight, while Tiana pulls Aurora back from piercing herself on the spinning wheel. The princess's trusty companions make an appearance as well, like Raja from Aladdin, Gus Gus and the rest of mice from Cinderella, and Miko from Pocahontas. It is obvious from the trailer that Wreck-It Ralph 2 is going to introduce multiple new characters, but the one that stands out the most is named Yes, voiced by Taraji B. Henson, that we see at the end of the trailer when she tries to explain the phrase break the internet to Ralph. According to co-director Phil Johnston, Yes is actually an algorithm, the heart and soul of a trend-making site called BuzzTube. Further explaining the characters of Yes, Johnston said, You can think of it as BuzzFeed meets YouTube. If it's cool, if it's trendy, if it's now, Yes has discovered it, and she shared it with the world. She's going to be really important to Ralph and Vanellope in their journey through the internet. She's just pretty cool looking, because she has all these different hairstyles and fashion. She's able to keep up with the latest trends through her website. And Yes has the ability to constantly shift the look of her hair based on the looks that are trending at the moment. And her will change from scene to scene. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.
Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.